is the finish line. Another reason why I wanted to write this book was because I had a dream. After my chemotherapy was completed, I just knew that I was finished with my treatment and that I was cancer free. I had no idea that I was going to have to endure a double mastectomy or radiation therapy. My oncologist never once mentioned any additional treatment after chemotherapy. So in my dream, I am running a marathon. I'm running and I'm running and I'm running. After my last mile, I see people standing all over the route, cheering me on, being very supportive and just happy that I am on my journey to completing this marathon. As I was going up the hill, then down another hill, then around the curve, I can see the finish line. I was feeling what my ex-husband used to call that runner's high. I was feeling really good. Then my adrenaline kicked in and I was feeling even better. I'm saying to myself, I'm at the finish line. I can see it. I can see it. I see the balloons before me. More people are coming and cheering me on. The finish line sign is right before me. As I was running, I started to see the people disappear. And I saw the finish line disappear as well. The balloon started floating away into the sky and I got to what I thought was the finish line and there was an old lady standing there. I asked her, where's the finish line? I told her I had seen it when I was running around the corner and that when I was going up and down the hill, I could see it in the distance. What happened to it? With these beautiful grandma eyes, she smiled at me and handed me a bottle of alkaline water. She then gave me a hug and said, baby, they moved the finish line. They moved it, I said. The little lady said, sweetie, they moved it because you still have a little ways to go. I said, a little more ways to go? How can that be? I thought I was finished. The little old lady said, I understand what you're saying, but sweetie, you have to go a little further. You are going to get to the finish line. Just take this water and a short break, she continued. Get back out there and run. Never lose sight of that finish line. Just keep moving. Don't stop and don't second guess yourself. Just keep going and I guarantee you, you will get to the end of the finish line. In total disbelief, I started running at a very slow pace. But as I continued to move along, I was excited to see the people coming back to the sidelines. And again, they started cheering me on. And as I looked in the very far distance, I could see the balloons high above the trees. I kept running and running and running. And then I finally came down the hill and saw the finish line again. It took me a lot longer than I thought it would have. I had to go through some bad weather. I got really bad sunburn. And I had to go through some really horrific storms. I was cut by falling debris and I had a really serious journey. It was so strenuous. I kept it moving and I stayed positive. When I finally got to the end of that marathon, I was re reunited with all of the people who loved and cared about me. All of the people who were there for me, giving me support and kind thoughts along the way. Those were the ones who were there to pick me up when I fell to my knees at the finish line. They helped me cross over a winner. I share that dream to remind you not to get discouraged when you think that the finish line is right in front of you and somebody moved it. Just know that if you dig down into your heart of hearts, the carriage will come and you can complete the task. You will be cured and you will be free of cancer. Most of all, the confidence that you gain through your journey is something no one could ever have given to you. You had to go through all of that crazy stuff to get your reward. The old saying about picking yourself up by your bootstraps, lacing them up, dusting them off, getting back onto your feet, and doing it again is solid advice. When you believe, you will achieve. It is so easy to give into your fears, but you can't get through the rain without getting wet. Just keep on going and hold on. Don't be afraid. There's nothing to fear. There is truly a miracle waiting for you at the end of the finish line.